Welcome to The Mix, where we teach you at home how to make drinks that are delicious, simple, and they also pair very well with everyday life. I'm Phil Armijo, and I'm your guide to everything behind the bar. And with me, as always, is the lovely Julie Smith. She's our resident lifestyle expert. What's up, Julie? Not too much, Phil. How's it going? It's going wonderful. Did you know that it's Whiskey Month? No, month? but I saw this gentleman, Jack, so I knew something was up. Tell me about it. Something is up. <laughs> we are going to use whiskey for all of our recipes this month okay. in celebration of Whiskey Month. All right. Now, Gentleman Jack, first thing I want to ask is what is the difference between Gentleman Jack and Jack Daniels? Great question. Okay. Gentleman Jack is double mellowed. It goes through the filtration process before it's put in the cast and then once again before it's put in the bottle itself. And another cool fact about it is it goes through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal before it's even put in the bottle or the cast. 10 feet? 10 feet. Can you right. picture that I in your head? I had no idea. Yeah. From the ground to the top of a basketball goal. Okay, that visual I can <laughs> definitely relate to. I get that. Well, it tastes fantastic, so apparently it's worth it. It's all definitely that worth it. Work. That's why it's awesome on its own. You can put it on the rocks, mm -hmm. or you can put it in a wonderful drink that we're going to show you at home how to make today, which is going to be a charred blood orange whiskey sour. So not only is March Whiskey Month, but it's my favorite holiday of the year, St. Patrick's Day. Ah, that's right, right, right around so the corner. It gets me thinking about luck, you know, which yeah. this is actually my lucky go-to drink because it's good for everybody. The non-whiskey drinker, the, the traditional whiskey drinker. Okay. Everybody loves this drink. Right, because there are a lot of people that say, oh, I don't drink brown liquor, but this will even work for them. So, Phil, do you have any particular lucky charms? Do you have a lucky number, color, anything like I that? I did, actually. When I was a kid, I had a little lucky rabbit's foot I would carry around. On a little keychain? I sure did. I remember those. And then I felt bad because I realized it was an actual It was an actual rabbit. rabbit, yeah. I thought they were super <laughs> cool, too, when I was young. So, okay, you're cutting up this blood orange, and I have never had a blood orange before. You've never had a blood orange before? All the regular oranges in the world. <laughs> but I've you, never had a blood orange. Why don't you take a look at this? It's it's unique in the sense that it has a darker color, obviously. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it's also more rich in flavor. That's why we actually use this one for our recipe. Okay. Because we can caramelize it and capture those sugars. It gives it that little sweet sensation, but also gives you that vibrant citrus flavor from the orange itself as well. Absolutely, the oranges look amazing. This Gentleman Jack is super smooth, so let's see what you got. So first ingredient is this ultimate rare mineral we call sugar. <laughs> Love it. You Sparkly. probably haven't ever had that before, have you? Never touched the stuff. <laughs> yeah, this will be my first dalliance with sugar. Let's do it. So load it up. Okay. Um, the slices that we prepared earlier, we're just going to dab it in there nice and easy on both sides, lay it in the little tray here. So um, far, this looks like something I can do myself. You want to do one? Uh, you want to do one? It's sure. easy. Here, give All it a right. shot. Let's see here. I mean, really, That's like it. how can yeah, I mess just this flip up? Right over. <laughs> yeah. Anybody can do this. That's the whole point of our yeah. show. We're actually going to use this part for the garnish and then okay. The, the halves that we cut in half earlier, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're actually gonna use this as the juice for the mixer of the drink itself. I see, okay? okay. For those of you that don't have one of these torch at home, the reason we showed you how to do it in this tray here is because you can actually stick it in the broiler about 500 degrees, and you wanna go about five minutes-ish. And we know some <laughs> folks just don't need to have one of these at home anyway. <laughs> right, this could be dangerous, right? Exactly. So it's just real simple. All you do is just go caramelize the sugar on top. What that does is just brings out the natural flavors, and it's also quite a beautiful, fancy presentation for your friends. Uh, I know you, you like to be fancy. So. Oh, I love fancy, and I, you know, we love to, it's fun, you take pictures of these beautiful drinks, the beautiful things that you're eating, and drinking and you want to put them on Instagram. You want to put them on social media, so. This is definitely Instagram worthy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. I also want to add. Some limon. Limon. All right. Right, wedge this, simple. We're only going to use one of these for measurement purposes. Two ounces of the Gentleman Jack. Okay. Two ounces of the good stuff. Of the good stuff. <laughs> So now we're gonna take the whole, the half uh, slice that we have here. We're gonna caramelize this as well. Nice and yummy. Mmm, I can smell so that. So why, do, why do you have some slices and you've got a half as well? So this half here is actually how we're gonna measure for our actual drink, which let's get to that part right now. Oh, that's going in. It in is the going drink. in the drink. Okay. So I'm gonna take my fancy smancy. That's mixer a here. very fancy juicer. It is. Mine does not look like that. <laughs> So when you squeeze one of these, a half is approximately about an ounce. Okay. And you want to make about an ounce in there. I'm going to get as much juice as I can out of here. Well, strong. Get all yeah. the juice. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you, get, you have to make the sound effects, too. Yeah. All right, so let me get my mixing tin here. I'm right. going to put some ice in there. I'm going to fill it up about halfway to three quarters with ice. Okay. I'm going to add my ounce of blood orange orange juice. 
Um, there's two things you can do. You can actually just discard this or what I like to do, personally, my favorite way to do it, I actually throw that in there because you're going to get some more yeah. of that citrus flavor and you're going to get the rest of those caramelized of sugars in there. So when you're shaking it, you're going to break the ice cubes down a little bit. Next, one teaspoon of this simple syrup. Okay, now here's the fun part. All right, you got to shake it. See, now, I, give me a show. I want so to see a show. For those of you guys at home and girls, whomever, if somebody's watching you make a drink, you want to make sure your posture is up high <laughs> and you're shaking up here over your head. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah, I like Maybe that. Maybe even switch it up. Ooh. Use two hands. Do the two hand technique. <laughs> but the goal here is to get the ice to break up in there to just kind of saturate the drink a little bit. And you'll start to see a froth build up around the tin. That's the goal. Okay? Get that 20, 30 seconds. You want, have you ever shaken it? You want to try to shake oh, good it? Lord. Shake it up. Give All me a right. shake. Wait, now what is the posture? In there. Let me get the posture together. Get a good posture. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Just well done. Oh, I better oh, yeah. be careful. I might lose my job over here. <laughs> don't worry about that. I don't think this is this is my happy place on this side of the bar. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad. There we go. Alright, we're almost there, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. I can feel it. My hands are starting to get nice and cold. Yeah. There it is. You can see the frost starting to build up mm -hmm. on the outside. Okay, I'm going to place that right there for a second. I'm going to get one of these really fancy, nice rocks glasses. We like fancy. We think fancy. Fill it up, three or four ice cubes in there. You know, once again, there's no specifics, guys. Just have fun with this. That's the point. You're doing it at home for your friends and your family, making yourself look yeah. cool in the meantime. <laughs> take my little strainer and if you don't have one of these little fancy guys you can actually use the back of your shaker here as well and just let it pour out go. beautiful that is mm. gorgeous man this looks so good let me get one of these looks auto cherries just and... keep sweetening the deal oh absolutely Love it. and it's just simple everything's just so easy you know mm -hmm. we are going to take that wonderfully beautiful garnish that you did earlier mm -hmm. stick it right on top just to add some more effect to it, we're going to put a mint fig up on Oh, this is so Sorry. perfectly postable. Fancy. <laughs> so fancy. And that's it? It's all set? Awesome. Well, there's one one more majorly important part. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have to sip that's and enjoy. This right here. All right. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. Phil, that is fantastic. So mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's gonna be a hit. That's gonna make that's gonna make me look very cool at home serving that up. This is is it's sweet, but like you said, it's kind of that in between. It still feels good on a cold night, but it'll be perfect anytime. And see, very that's good. what's great about it for you at home. If even if you're a whiskey drinker or not, mm -hmm. this is the perfect recipe for anybody that doesn't even know anything about whiskeys or bourbons. Right. Mm. It's a great go-to. This is why it's my good luck charm. Mm. You keep talking. <laughs> I'm now, looking forward to you in a bathing suit. <laughs> okay, so you roll. Teaspoon, teaspoon lemon, yeah. teaspoon lemon, teaspoon lemon. Teaspoon lemon, that sounds like a two live crew song. And remember to like, comment, and com I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> if you want to like us a lot, you can lick us, lick the like button. You can lick, you can lick the like button. For more episodes and recipes, please visit themixga.com. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. We'll see you next time. Cheers.